Cesaro is probably one of the best animation commander in this game. First time I full pull him during the live stream, I was so happy to have him, but however, performed well in the lower level. So in this video, we're gonna try to see like how's the Kraken Sestaro are doing. Is it worth investing in Sestaro? Alright, we do have one of the guys that have uh, one of the first Sestaro equipment, uh, Nikki, but we uh unfortunately we don't really uh, see him as much anymore however with this bill right here we can replace nikki with talk troop bill it's like a basic halberdier dragoon and corsair okay these are like normal uh we have a unique to refine okay um commander 40 percent Chance focus damage deal plus six when dealing focus damage can stack up to five times. Okay, focus is six to six percent. Holy crap, that's <laughs> that's pretty high. Uh, this is uh, the best armor right here. Um, I actually have this, but in the uh, budget version. Okay, so uh, we have focus plus 42 and uh, resilient of uh, evilman. So evilman uh, defense here, and then uh, we have. Focus damage plus 12. Okay, this is the first time I actually see anybody using this skill. Usually it's high stereo. And lastly, box of knowledge. Like, what? Strategies. Okay. Each round, 60% chance for the following effect to be triggered. Focus damage plus 9. Okay, which is not, not, not high. <laughs> Let's move on to the skill, guys. This one is Ring Wrath. Um, it's pretty much a maximum stun. Uh, if you guys don't know Ring Wrath, man, um, I don't know if you should play. continue to play evil. Lord of the West, ladies and gentlemen, allies, commander, each round deal 190 focus damage, but will no, no, no longer launch normal attack. This is deal damage again. Whoa, what's going on here? Uh, spell Seeker, increase focus. Plague, uh, this is um, anti-heal. And then Soul Siphon, if you don't know what that is, it's basically a heal. Commander damage is 188k. For this, and this is versus Gandalf, ladies and gentlemen, you have to remember this. It's, it's one of the tangy good units out there. What if he fights some other commanders? How how well does he par? Gandalf the White, two hundred and seventy-seven k for uh, commander damage, guys. This is like, huh? What? All right, let's uh, take a look at some of the one that like. Okay, you know he he's not immortal. Okay, so he can be beaten, but. With this Gimli right here, pretty pim out Gimli uh, with like uh, experience of R1, Durin Blood, and then uh, these uh, Lord of the Cleaning Cave. So pretty high respect Gimli. And check it out. I mean, it's not <laughs> it's not a weak deck, ladies and gentlemen. It's 276 commander damage versus 242. Both are ditching out high commander damage. This is like neck to neck, guys. So pretty, pretty good job uh, for this build. So if you want Sestaro to be successful, um, I'm not saying that you need to go for the unique because not everybody can have the unique. But this build right here, basically, you're just going to keep punching out. it punching out like focus damage so it will be like alternative for like you know what sometimes when you fighting other people and they just put like a burn protection and your witch king is like gimp uh this will be one of the options that you want to um explore you know unless like you want to use sauron and then Sauron will be, they just put a madness helm on and you just be like, um, okay, you just die. You just have to accept your fate. But this commander right here, it is very interesting how, 
they work and I'm so glad that I actually meet someone that actually know how to play these, these commanders because I wanted to invest in them but yeah I don't know if it's really worth it you know but when you see it you'd be like oh hey it's actually not bad right other than that guys smash that like subscribe leave a comment down below have you tried using Sestaro and I'll see you in the next content.